I'm sure we've all heard that horrible sound, that crunching crash that gives you a jolt as you realise you've just decorated your alloy wheels with scrapes and gouges and possibly even dents and cracks. Gutter rash does happen, but it doesn't have to ruin your week. There's no doubt that the trend towards bigger rim sizes, even in non-sport oriented cars, has continued. A decade ago, 16 inch wheels would have been considered the norm, but these days, you'll often see 18, 19 plus inch rims on even fairly conventional family cars. Bigger rims mean lower profile tyres and more chance of the wheel hitting a kerb or a pothole rather than the far more gutter friendly rubber. This is a Car Advice office runabout. It's an Audi S1 with 18 inch wheels and someone, I'm not naming any names, has managed to give one of the wheels a pretty good knock. We brought it here to Wheel Centre Repairs Sydney to see what they can do. Wow, what's wrong with that one? This is our most common repair. We do more repairs of buckled wheels and cracked wheels than cosmetic work. The problem with all these wheels, they have to be within 0.8 of a millimetre of roundness, and this guy is a long way out. That just but looks mangled. Almost everything is repairable. Yes, you could say that. It's that. an economic call yep. whether you try. That's good to and know. And the rarity factor. Because there is quite an issue at the moment with fake manufactured uh, wheels out there. Do you, have you seen a lot of them? We see a lot of them. And a lot of people buy these on eBay or Gumtree and they buy a set and often they're really scrap metal. Not that said, there are some really good aftermarket wheels which are not as expensive as original but are really quality wheels as well. So that's a really heavy duty process to fix damage of that extent. What about for more minor cosmetic things? I know um, some places don't go to that level. Correct. There are several options with repairs. It depends somewhat on the finish of the wheel. Some wheels are fully painted. Some of them have a machine finish with a clear coat. All of them can be short term damage disguised but generally don't last. So the damage kind of still lies it's just still on there, the surface. But it's quick bits, it's quick cheaper, fits, cheap, yep. convenient. So uh, still an option. It's those. an option. Yep. What we specialise in is full workshop where we have the cars in here, the tyres come off, the wheels come off, and we refinish with baked paints back to factory standard to original for Mercedes and Ferrari and Porsche and Audi and Volkswagen. Well, we better go and have a look at the Audi S1 and see what you think about that. I don't think the damage to our little S1 is anywhere near as bad as some of those that you've got in there. But you take a look and tell me what's your assessment? Well, no problems to fix that at all. It's a simple repair. However, it needs the wheel off, the tyre off, machining and polishing of this particular area and reassembly. So it's the best part of a day. Best part of a day just to fix that? Correct. That's unbelievable. So what is, what is the price difference between sort of getting, getting something like that fixed and having to buy a new wheel? This particular wheel is probably worth almost $2,000 and we're talking $200 to $300 to yep. fix it. So a 10% cost. That's definitely a far better uh, budget proposition, isn't it? Absolutely. We've actually been running a bit of a book in the office as to which wheel is the most often damaged. For cosmetic damage, it's usually the left rear from reverse parking. Which would be this This one. particular <laughs> one. For buckling and other damage, the left front. So do you have any tips or tricks for avoiding rim damage while you're driving? Avoid the curbs. <laughs> That's pretty simple. Exactly. The biggest problem with all of these is that modern cars, modern design is low profile tyres and very large wheels. Old school tyres, no problem at all. They generally have enough cushion and enough, uh, enough protection. Well, I don't think we're going to be putting fatter tyres on our S1, so we're just going to have to be a little bit more careful.